Hello everybody, I'm Andermore Central and welcome back to Sheffield. I absolutely love it here. It is a warm, sunny um, April morning. It's really, really nice. So yes, this video is going to be releasing a little bit later um, than it was released. Sometimes that does happen. Um, but what have, however, it is a lovely sunny April Sunday morning. We're just passing the very, very nice Cathedral Superstram stop. And in this video, we're sampling something a little bit of a crossover. So I do quite a lot of work in Leeds filming. I do quite a lot of work in Sheffield filming. And it's very rare that both places get the same buses. I mean, we had the Gemini 2s, but that were quite a few years ago. However, it's happened again. And a batch of the 67 plate street decks, um, the 352s, the later ones that were new to the Heading the Road, Heading the Road corridor, the back in the 2017. I remember when they entered service, I were there for that um, first couple of days out. A couple of these have started to transfer over to Sheffield. And I thought, well, I'm here. They're all on the 81s and 82s, um, Ecky Road um, and Hillsborough corridor. So I thought we'd go for a little ride on them. So in this video, we'll sample them we'll see how they're coping with the Sheffield routes bearing in mind there's quite a few more hills we'll see how they're settling in with the high quality what they're like inside and what new standards they may bring to the network that first was operating Sheffield and we'll have a little ride around we'll discuss how many they're getting and why they are here but for now we'll have a little wander down High Street walk around the corner to Angel Street and we'll jump on our 81 um, our first of two 81s 82s that will take us towards Stannington So here's our first of two, this is 35270, it got given a um, temporary but really didn't last um, full green front with no dark green on it as part of sort of a hybrid livery for general use and other services. At the present the ones in service it's the only one like this. It's really weird being on one of these with Leeds City on the um, next stop announcement board, the Leeds City branding inside. Um, it's really, really weird sort of going along the tram tracks um, near Merlin Bridge and now going up the um, hill up to Stannington. It's really, really strange. However, the bus seems to be coping quite well. I mean, we've only done flat routes, um, flat roads for now. But as you can hear, we're starting to go up the hill very shortly. It does seem to pull in really, really well. I mean, the driver is a quick driver as well, so we are getting to see what the bus is made of. It does sound quite loud but it's doing the job. Now, yes, you'll be thinking in this video, but I'm more central. Sheffield already have a Leeds bus, they had 35211. And you'd be right in thinking that they did have 35211. However, that was the smaller batch of street decks, very standard to what um, the other specifications were. However, these had their highest spec seats and these were Leeds city spec. Um, apart from the fact that they had the pink grab poles instead of the green ones, this is pretty much a Leeds city spec bus. And I've been quite excited for these to come here to Sheffield. And again, you'd be thinking, but these are replacing B9s. Now, yes, they are replacing B9s. However, we do have to face the fact that B9s are going. They've got to go. They are the older vehicles now, and they will start to replace them. And when we were thinking of replacements, I was thinking, oh, we might, we might get some buses that are quite basic inside. However, I really wanted these, because these buses have a really high spec interior. They do have the nice Lazzarini seats, they've got free Wi-Fi, they've got USB plugs, 
So for people who commute on these buses, um, like myself later in the year, it does mean that you've got a higher standard of commute, it's sort of a higher quality, the seats are comfy, you've got your USBs, you've got your free Wi-Fi, and as I say, for passenger comfort, it's definitely an upgrade. Here we are arriving now at Stannington. Thank you very much. So here we are at Stannington Terminus and that was 35270. So what we'll do now is we'll get a couple of photos of the bus as it is at Stannington, probably see it leave and then we'll wander around, it's about a 5 or 10 minute walk, wander around to see the 82 and hopefully get that bus that should be, if it's tracking correctly, 35279. So I as discussed when we jumped on it, um, this does feature the sort of Leeds City um, standard liveries they advertised it. It was only really done for a brief period of time, they've really abandoned it now with the Leeds Electrics introduction and sort of the grey and purple buses. However, they took the main green strip off the front by the destination board to denote it was a bus that could be used for any route, because back when they were branding them up, um, green was a specific route line. So they had the red, they had the indigos, um, they had the um, mustard ones as well for the um, Fort Park routes um, and this the idea was is if they didn't have anything at all they were a spare vehicle it didn't really last that long it was very much a Hunslet Park thing that they introduced however as I say it's at the moment for the ones that have entered service so far 35270 is the only one like this bus times are log, if you do find it on there it does also reflect this differentiation in delivery another thing as well as you can see it is still in its Leeds green that's pretty obvious it is still in the colours we must um, appreciate that However, um, what you do have to bear in mind is these vehicles are coming to replace P9s that are, are being withdrawn um, due to mechanical failure at the moment. So they've been pressed into service. And just like the rest of the stuff in Sheffield, it will eventually get painted, hopefully into blue. Blue and cream would be very, very nice. Um, although we don't quite know what's going on with the livery at the moment, but these in blue and cream would be incredibly nice. With that as well, when they do get repainted, they will also get the branded inside, just like the ones from um, City Reds in Southampton did. It's quite nice having the branding and having the quirkiness for a brief period of time however to um, for a bit of conformity a bit of uniformity and then making them look good and they will probably be painted um, very very soon in due course So I'm just wandering through Stannington, um, we're walking down the 81, there's a little bit of a big circular little around all the estates and estatey bit up that direction. So walking down to the junction here to get another shot of it, hopefully in nice sunlight of it turning onto the main road to head down to Hillsborough. Now the 81 and the 82 do both come to Stannington, they have two different terminus points, so by walking down here we are on our way to the um, 82 terminus point. I haven't been to the 82 um, terminus before so I'm quite excited, a new bit of route for me. So I'll have a wander down to that after this but it is on the way. While we're having the walk down I thought with the quite must say very very nice views definitely a lovely day for it. Um, while we're having a wander down um, you're probably also wondering why are the street decks leaving Leeds? Surely they need them, they, they, they only got them a few years ago. And the reason that they are leaving, it, there's a couple of, couple of bits of reasons. Um, firstly, it's the brand new electrics. So the brand new Leeds electric electroliners and the fleet of kites as well has ushered, ushered out some street decks. So they've helped um, to usher out some of the fleet, bearing in mind that the electroliners um, deckers can't replace B9 Geminis because they're not going onto the guideway. Now the reason that they still have B9s there, and we are doing a 
video on the ex Manchester B9s that have arrived because it's a bit weird getting rid of street decks for, B, um, for B9s in essence. Um, but the reason that um, the street decks have gone is because the electroliners aren't going on the guideways and in theory have pretty much replaced these buses. So there is that, and um, there is that element of it um, where they have um, been replaced by the electroliners, but it's also to do with PVR, peak vehicle requirement. And on some routes, with the introduction of the new kites, routes like the 14 have now been converted to single deckers. Previously, always having double deckers on them, because of how the 14 interworks now, it now has single deckers. And it's the case for quite a few services in Leeds where kites are popping up on them. So there is also that element as well where the PVR is slightly reduced four double deckers running predominantly from Bramley Depot. So there is that part of it as well and then the third reason is Sheffield does need replacements for its B9s. We absolutely love the B9s here, um, don't get me wrong, they're absolutely tremendous buses um, to such a degree. We got rid of street decks a few years ago, the Steel Link ones um, started disappearing off but unfortunately, like with anything, the time has come to start retiring the B9, especially the older Royal 7 plates, so that's why the street decks are here. 101 random walks to buses with Anmore Central. This episode brings us to um, a very, very nice view in Stannington with the Fox Valley. It looks really, really nice. I spend a lot of my time focusing on the Peak District, so it's really, really nice to be in these parts. I do forget just how pretty it is. We're sort of around the Bradfield kind of area, Bradfield Loxley, and um, that kind of area. Still looking really, really nice around here. So we are nearly there at the bus stop, got a nice photo um, of the street deck on the 81. So as I say, about a five minute walk. I'm very much hoping that it is this street, I believe it is, because I don't fancy walking back up this hill. Um, we've got a nice five minute walk to the bus stop and then about five, ten minutes to wait till it arrives. So here we go, Hall Park Head, the terminus of the 82, and a nice little bus stop here. A very, very nice turning circle is this. And if I'd have known in previous times coming up on the 81, I'd have probably had to wander down here to get the 82. It's not that far of a walk, probably about 5-10 minutes. And as I say, it's a nice and sunny day today, so there's no complaints from me. So I've come upstairs for the remainder of the journey into Sheffield city centre, I nearly said Leeds then, and we've got another one going past. That's 83, that's the one that we're not going to get to go on in this video, only got time for two. But that is the third one that's out today and that brings me on to how many of these are now in service. The answer is three of them. At present it is 352, 70, 79 and 83. However by the time this video does release there should be more of them out in use. Quite a few of them have transferred down here, I believe they're having quite a bit of work done to them. I don't know if any are getting painted before entering service, be nice if they do. But um, they are having a bit of work done, a bit of TLC and bits like that, um, getting them ready to sort of see the challenging hills of Sheffield because Leeds is relatively flat where these have been working and getting them ready for that before they start entering use. So as I say at the moment there are three, by the time the video comes out there should be more and at the end of the video we'll sum up how many um, of these they've got at the moment um, and any other bits and bobs that I do know about that. And as I say for now, really really nice buses and these Lazzarini seats are really nice and comfy. Um, these are definitely going to improve your Sheffield commute. I mean, yes, I absolutely love the B9s. I cannot emphasise this enough, especially the refurbished ones. But unfortunately, as with everything, um, they are they are cracking on now. I'm just like good buses in the past, like our Renowns, our D7 CB7s. It's time to start saying farewell to the B9s. And from a passenger perspective, 
these are pretty nice buses with nice high back Lazzarini comfy seats with USBs that I'm using with free Wi-Fi um, and hopefully with the announcements the potential to set up announcements as well that I think is also really really good so for Sheffield these are definitely going to see um, be an improvement um, for passenger commutes and as I say it'd be even nice potentially you never know um, I might be in DreamWorks I think a little bit but it'd be nice potentially to see these refurbished as you never know what could happen for now, I'll show you a few views as we go through Hillsborough and make our way along the tram tracks back into Sheffield city centre. And then we'll go right on queue for a little bit of variety as the buses you've got. Some of the rather temporary additions the one of the ex Glasgow B9s. We've covered them in a separate video. Do go and check that video if you haven't, haven't already. Lovely buses to go on are them. And again, just like these, very, very nice, bougie and comfy interiors. Thank you very much. So here we are in Sheffield on Snig Hill and that was 35279. So what I'll do is I'll pass into the studio now for a little bit of a summary as to what I thought of the buses, how I thought they were coping um, with the roads here as they are a little bit earlier than Leeds is. So how are they coping with them and any other bits and bobs that I may have missed? So to summarise this video and the on your screen now shows the three that are in service, 70, 79 and 83. Also there at the moment, um, although yet to enter service, is 35261, 63, 64 from the very, very early first part of this batch of buses and the first Leeds City Deckers, as well as 73 and 74. So there's a fair few of them already there. Um, as I say, only three out in service at the time of filming this. All three of them are in service in Leeds City Green. Bustimes.org, however, does suggest that 35263 and 73, two of which are yet to enter service, are getting painted. We do have to bear in mind it isn't always the most reliable um, resource in the world, and people do have access to changes on a public domain. However, you usually tend to find if something suggested it's painted um, on Bustimes.org in Sheffield, it usually is painted. So I do expect 63 and 73 to enter service in Sheffield Blue that I'm personally very, very excited about. Again, I do think these vehicles are an improvement for commuters in Sheffield and anybody that does use the bus. With the USB ports, the Comfort High Back Lazzarini seats, um, they didn't struggle on hills. The opportunities to put announcements on the vehicles with the PA systems already set up, they just need to make announcements for the services they run. I do think these buses are, whether we do like it or not, the future of Sheffield, and I do think it is a relatively positive future. Instead of having vehicles that are potentially a decade old, that they're quite tired, these vehicles tend to be relatively all right. Yes, they're not, not the best in the world. Unfortunately, Leeds housing estates um, can't be the, aren't the kindest at times. However, they are still very high-spec vehicles, very, very nice and overall, as I say, should improve um, service corridors and sort of passenger comfort and things like that. I think as it goes replacing the B9s, buses like this are going to become more common. And as I say, if we can get the higher quality, higher standard, higher spec variations of these vehicles, then that's certainly the way to go forward.
With all of that said and done, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then do be sure to hit that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Animal Century YouTube channel for more content like this on the real life bus industry. I do quite a lot of stuff in Sheffield. Do go and check out my previous content and I've got quite a lot of stuff planned. So do make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, I would like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one I make. Bye for now. Bye.